Hello, this is Javier with a real quick tutorial on how to run a basic run-of-the-mill illustration with the National Life Group illustration software. First order of business, of course, is to download the software, which is covered in a different tutorial. But once you actually go ahead and download it, you'll have this icon that you see that I'm hovering over right now on your desktop. I'm going to go ahead and click on that icon to launch the software and one of the things that you'll see is that it's actually looking for updates which it does every single time you turn on the software so it's very important that you fire up the software while you have a Wi-Fi connection or internet connection either maybe at your home or office before you go to the field to see clients because if you're caught without a Wi-Fi connection out in the field you're dead in the water because it needs to make that or, or do that update every time brings you to this box that you see here and all we're going to do is cover the second half of it because we don't do the bottom portion of the illustration software uh, as you can see here this is a, a universal life for LifeScope, flex life and secure plus provider which are the products that we work with the most if you click on the start illustration link it will take you directly to the national life group website to run the illustration on their site now that of course doesn't work if you don't have an internet connection so make sure that you click on the work offline and when you click on the work offline it stores all your results and illustrations on your hard drive and when it detects an internet connection when you come back home or your office then it'll automatically synchronize it or you can hit the sync now button to synchronize what you just did offline with your online software as well so I'm gonna click on the start illustration It's gonna bring me to this page here which you'll see here shortly and what's really important about this is that you gotta make sure that the defaults are set to the right fields which I'm gonna show you here once this thing fires up all the way so here's where it brought me which is a menu on the left hand side now there are some saved uh, or cases that I have saved that can also pop up here but what I'm gonna do there they are what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on new illustration and there I go and once we do that it brings this box up now here it defaults to California which is the license in which your license for me it's California index universal life and basic illustration which pops up like that every single time the only selection that you need to make here is actually the product flex life whether it be life scope or provider we're going with life scope which is the proprietary product for first financial security when I do that it's going to take me to the new illustration page here in just one second as you can see it's working up there even though I'm offline and working offline it still does this thing and it takes a little bit of time for it to go through and here we are so at this point all you're going to need to do is change what I change if I don't change it don't change it so as you can see at the top illustration issue state stays the same because it's California for me and I'm gonna do is personalize it as you should for every client my client's name is Joe Smith so I'm gonna go ahead and put in his name now make sure you have the sex this is very important one of the most common mistakes people make is they don't have the right sex and they're getting wrong numbers and wondering why that's so so make sure you have the right sex and as far as the birthday is concerned always input the full birth date don't use the calendar icon to the right it's too confusing just simply go ahead and my client's birth date is January 1st 1985 and when I click away from that birth date box you'll see the issue age be calculated automatically so there it just got calculated he's actually 30 always use the birth date because some products go by their last birth date and others are by the nearest birthday so just stick to the birth date you'll be fine also on the left hand side you'll see what's called summary values it will change when I change various fields here don't worry about it we'll talk about that on the next uh, section of the actual uh, tutorial just disregard it now when it comes to risk information we always default to verified standard non tobacco and change nothing there so this is all you need to do for this tab I'm gonna go ahead and click on the death benefit and funding Now I'm not clicking on the yellow box on the right I'm clicking on the actual link which will bring up this final section that we are going to need to fill in to have our numbers so let's go from the top tax and compliance leave it alone death benefit we're gonna switch it to minimum DB slash max cash value and that stands for a minimum death benefit maximum cash value we want the least amount of insurance possible or life insurance possible so we can save up the um, best or max amount of cash value which is gonna impact of course retirement income as well so that's all I clicked on minimum maximum and that's it for this particular section I'm gonna scroll down and I'm get to premium this is what the client will be paying now if you notice it defaults to premium mode annual and that's another very common mistake you have to manually switch it to monthly electronic funds transfer or EFT very very important also under type you're going to go from target premium to specify amount we are going to actually tell the system how much the client wants to pay on a monthly basis 
and as you can see it defaults to one thousand five hundred dollars every single time so you got to make sure you change it my client is paying two hundred and fifty dollars and they're going to be paying that as you can see where it says from dash through that means from when are they going to pay this and when are they going to stop paying it the system defaults one through m which stands for maturity meaning until the client dies or they hit age 120 which is not realistic so what we're going to we're going to do because we use so much retirement income we're going to change the one through m to one through a 65 which is of course age 65 and so that's it for this particular field i'm going to click away let it, the numbers compute then what i'm going to do is scroll down to the distribution information now, this is the income portion which is very very important again it defaults to no income it doesn't illustrate anything we're going to change that to solve for income we want to make sure that they can actually go ahead and let the computer solve the math and so what we're going to do is if you notice it automatically changed the from and dash through to a66 now where the a66 through m came in is because we told it to stop up here at age 65 so automatically went through age 66 through maturity and that's it that's all there is to a run-of-the-mill illustration so I'm gonna click on the quick view quick view is gonna pop up it's gonna compute the numbers and we're gonna go over this summary values in the next screen as soon as it pops up so we're gonna verify a few things as you should before you even start talking to your client about any of the numbers on the screen and a couple of things I want to look for are make sure I got the right age so down here it starts at age 30 that's right I want to make sure that the modal premium the amount that they're going to pay which is 250 that's right and i want to make sure that the premium mode is monthly which that's correct as well so having having said that everything looks good my initial face amount is three hundred seventeen thousand three hundred and four dollars that's the life insurance amount that's crucial because that's where not only in case they die the money comes from but of course the living benefits as well so you should get three hundred seventeen thousand three oh four i'm going to show you the income portion here in just one second which might be different from you depending on where your interest rates are so let's go ahead and go over the summary values real quick this shows you first of all the minimum premium minimum premium is the amount that they have to pay the very least they can pay on a yearly basis to make sure that their policy does not lapse when somebody pays the minimum uh, they're only paying for the cost of insurance and they're also paying for the fees nothing is going into the cash value so we don't recommend that they do this for too long target premium here on the other hand is what you as the agent will be paid for that particular case so not you the whole amount but you times your contract so if this amount let's just say is 25 66 and 99 cents and for the sake of easier math what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and call it 25 67 we multiply that times your contract level let's just say you're at 50 percent that's 1283 dollars and 50 cents is what's owed to you however you will receive only 75 percent of that upon the issuance of the policy and the remaining 25 percent you will receive in the fourth quarter of the policy year that means that in year number a month number 10 11 and 12 you'll receive that 25 percent equally over those three months as well and so that's pretty much what you need to know in regards to the summary values which again don't take place until we run the full illustration which is here so all i'm going to show you at this point is verify that again they're paying three thousand dollars a year now, the, how did we get three thousand? Well, we took the twenty-five hundred, uh, the two hundred and fifty dollars times twelve, which is three thousand, and this shows them receiving or pre, uh, paying that premium all the way until age sixty-five, which is this right here, at which they start to receive sixty-seven thousand nine hundred and forty-five dollars a year from age sixty-six until they either die or hit age one twenty. Again, that's sixty-seven thousand nine hundred and forty-five dollars income tax-free until they die or hit age one hundred and twenty. And again, this is a run-of-the-mill illustration. The income numbers might be a little different from you based on your interest rates on your system, but the initial face amount should be $317,304 as well. All right? View this as many times as you need to. Pause it, rewind it, do whatever it is you need to do to practice so that you can pass your audition and also get out to the field and start making money sooner rather than later. Thank you so much, and I'll see you at the next tutorial.